Okay, so it's going to be one of those days where my camera goes off every two seconds. Okay, so anyhow, I did the glitter here with the yellow glitter that's really light, light, light yellow, which I used on my sunflower picture from my friend Christine. And um, on her wings is the light um, yellow glitter. Even a little bit over here in her hair is the yellow glitter. Can you see that? I like how that came out. But then, I sh after I shellacked it, it needed something on the outside. So I did a very clear glitter. It's a shellac glitter. Modge Podge. And this is not cheap. I go through this fast. Okay. Um, shellac is always expensive, but it's so worth it. Because you could t actually touch this and leave your hand on it and absorb the energy. Sorry, I don't have my rings on yet. Okay, anyhow, so let me know how you think it came out. And I'm about to tell you what the meaning of the all the orange of Savannah, Savvy. Just happened to have my paperwork right here. So, of course, it's very good for your sacral center and your solar plexus. But I'll let you know... The chakra I was trying to really touch base on is the orange sacral chakra, which is your, hold up, second chakra, and it's um, your kidneys. It rules your kidneys mainly, so if anybody's having kidney problems, kidney stones, um, issues with their kidneys, um, it's right located on near your kidneys and below your navel six centimeters below your navel so if you want to just envision that color think about that color um, right under your belly button think of it as a whirl of orange okay your ovaries your testes yeah that my work is for men too um it's unisex uh ovaries tendon testes kidneys bladder prostate there's a lot of people out there with prostate problems. Pelvis, body fluids, adrenals, adrenal glands, large intestines, low intestine, lower intestines, large and lower intestines. Okay, so both your intestines and your sacrum, especially your sacrum. What is it associated with? It's associated with sexuality, um, sensuality. Mentoring, honoring your and nourishing yourself. Okay, so a lot of people have been through um, psychological abuse and physical abuse and have been SA'd, which that is the term for, um, of the, you know, we've been talking a lot about that on YouTube because there's so much of it going around and a lot of, uh, it's always been around, but now people are being brave and talking about it. Okay, and, and getting it out of the closet. So, if you've been essayed or abused in your past, the color, the chakra that's going to be out of order is your sacral chakra, your second chakra. Okay, so you need orange, peach, coral. Okay, all these colors, and to visualize these colors, wear these colors. Um, I believe in color therapy and affirmations, and I have healed many things that I've had wrong with me, and trust me, there's a lot, <laughs> okay. okay, with color therapy, crystals, and just wearing the colors, trying to, you know, eat more orange foods, drink more orange drinks, um, and I have like an ulcer, well, I did in the past, so I can't really drink orange juice, so I drink tang, or sugar-free tang, or something to that effect, um, anyhow, um, yeah, so that's what this is for, and I could, like, go on, I'm actually going to just go on to an affirmation, hold up, hold up, it's a one-man show over here, one woman show, okay, so, how do you know if, if your orange chakra, your second chakra is out of order? You have lost your creativity. You don't feel creative. You don't feel sexual. Um, you feel like there's no solutions to the everyday problems. You just feel blah. 
you just feel despair. Okay? And <clears throat> when it's in order, you feel desire and creative. So, an affirmation you could say, if this chakra is out of order, is... Well, you could buy Savannah. Um, an affirmation is... I constantly have new ideas to create the life I want, guilt-free. I constantly have new ideas to create the life I want, guilt-free. I constantly have ideas to create the life I want, guilt-free. And that's very beautiful. So again, if you're just clicking on, um, you need orange and peach and coral for your kidneys, for your adrenal glands, for your testes, for your prostate, for your ovaries, okay, all your reproductive organs, okay, and it, when it's out of balance, you will feel like you have no desire, um, you don't want anybody to touch you because it brings back bad memories of when you were uh, abused, um, I have lost my creativity, there's no solutions to everyday problems, and you feel despair. Uh, and no desire. So please say this. I constantly have new ideas to create the life I want. Guilt free. No guilt. See, a lot of people who were abused, for some reason, they have guilt. And they feel guilty about their body, about their face, about their... Um, about wanting something new or something different than the family wants. And... What I'm saying now is put your foot down and step into color therapy and say, I am loved and I deserve a good life. And I didn't deserve what happened to me, but that's not happening to me anymore. Okay? I am safe. I constantly have new ideas to create the life I want, guilt-free, without guilt. Okay? I am confident. I am full of energy. Okay. And then this brings us to Carmela. And now I hope nobody's mad because I did get a lot of ideas about what what to do her with. And don't be mad that she's not all white, but she is crystallized. I think she has a lot of crystals on her. But I wanted to bring out this color here, which was a... A dark blue, which I was trying to get on my nails, but the guy picked the wrong color. It's, it's, it looks black, but it, it's supposed to be a dark blue. Anyhow, I was trying to pull out that color, and I, while I was talking to her, she was like, it's all right. And so I got wisteria, and I was really happy because I almost could smell this color. It's so weird. I know I'm a weirdo, but it's called wisteria, and I might name one of my paintings wisteria. Uh, but I almost used the whole thing because I dropped it because I do my painting like three in the morning when after I've taken my sleep medicine sometimes. Anyhow, I like how she came out. And she is for the crown chakra. She is definitely for the crown chakra. Don't you feel peace when you see her? I think wisteria suits her. It's like a grayish, a little bit of a blue tint to it. Like the flower wisteria, which I know nothing about, but I like flowers. Okay, so for your head chakra, where is it? Crown chakra. Okay, when your crown chakra is out of balance, boys and girls, girls and boys, namaste ninjas, zen zebras, um, you will feel... A lot of loneliness, anxiety, headaches, migraines. Check, please. Check, please. Um, confusion, apathy. And what you're supposed to say is, I am at peace to know and understand. I release attachment. Okay. You will have indecisiveness, confusion, nightmares. Oh, check, please. I got Somebody's got to work on their crown chakra, I guess. <laughs> uh, confusion, nightmares. Well, I have nightmares because I watch YouTube videos of missing children and um, give myself the nightmares. If I just watch the horse show at night, then I'll be okay. 
Um, anyhow, uh, confusion, nightmares, poor insight. And you're supposed to say, release illusion, release what's fake, and say, I see, I am calm, I can solve my problems. I see, I am calm, I can solve my problems. I am at peace. Okay. The colors that go with that, with the crown chakra, are always, um, you know, like a white, anything white, like that, okay, uh, crystallized like this, and her wings, and a light, 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 light gray, like this is, wisteria. Anyhow, um, so, it's the top of the head, it's the skull, the top of the head, um, the penal gland, the skull, and the brain. So that's why it's so important. Um, it has to do with grace and beauty and serenity, oneness with all, our divinity, selfless, selflessness, realization, understanding, and enlightenment. Yeah, and that's a lot, right? That is a lot. And then I do have something else to read. Um, over here, Carlisle, she's for your crown chakra as well. She's very peaceful. I, I often stare at her when I'm all over here working. Okay, so why you resonated with it. Maybe if you've resonated with this, um, it appears to your crown chakra, skull and brain, Carmela. Um, it deals with your head, brain, and everything to do with your spiritual awakening. I forgot to say that. It also helps you to contact your angels and spirit guides and people who have transformed, transferred to heaven. Okay, so if you're trying to meditate, the best colors to meditate are silver, white, um, iridescent, you know, like the glitter is iridescent. This this calm grayish color, wisteria, and also white, and also gold. That gold over there, and the silver. Okay, those are the best colors to meditate on. Yeah. So if you're trying to have a spiritual awakening. It helps you to contact your angels and spirit guides. A lot of people want to do this. People who have trans transferred to heaven say, I'm open and receptive to hear messages and communicate with my mom, my angels, my spirit guides. Um, I just said mom because that's who I'm always trying to talk to. <laughs> She's probably sick of hearing me. But you could put in whoever you want. But here's the prayer. I am open and receptive to hear messages and communicate with my whoever. Angels and spirit guides. My crown chakra is the top of the head. The colors are white, violet, also violet. Violet and purple. Purple works for me on any spectrum. Purple on any spectrum works for me. I just have to look at a purple flower or a purple piece of paper and or a pen. That's purple and I'm there. Okay. So it's whatever resonates with you that causes you to have calmness. Your body will tell you what color that you resonate with. Okay, so the top of the head colors white, violet, gold, silver, gray. See this grayish? Sparkles. Yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. Um, has to do with grace, beauty, serenity, oneness with all, our divinity, selfless, realization, understanding, and enlightenment, what you what you do to utilize your healing artwork. Okay. Oh, no, that was something else. That was something else. Okay. So I just wanted to show you those those two. Okay. Um, still have a lot, of, a lot of stuff here, and I have different ideas that are coming up, but I wanted to tell you guys that. I'm recreating this angel from the past because orange is definitely needed, and then I'm working on a new project, but I can't tell you about it yet. Okay, so. All right, now, here's the second part of my 
video. Maybe I should shut this down and I'll come back. Yes, I'm going to come back. One second. Namaste, everybody. Let me know if you're interested in any of the artwork, uh, Savannah or Carmella or anything else that's available. Namaste. I'll be right back.